This is unreal, real sign, unreal question. Let's talk about how many solar systems exist and where they might lead us. They told us our solar system was special, that there was only one like it, ours, but they were wrong. Imagine this, you zoom out from Earth, past the moon, past Mars, past Pluto and the icy edges of our own solar system. You keep going and you realize this is just one small neighborhood because the galaxy, our galaxy, the Milky Way, is filled with solar systems. Not a few, not thousands, but hundreds of billions of them. And the question is, how many are out there and how many are like ours? Let's start from the basics. A solar system is a star, like our sun, with planets orbiting around it. Some systems have just one planet, others have dozens. Some have gas giants, rocky Earth-like worlds, or no planets at all. The term solar comes from Sol, the Latin name for our sun. So technically, every other system should be called a star system. But the meaning stuck. In our case, the sun is orbited by eight planets over 200 moons, millions of asteroids, and at least five dwarf planets. But we're not alone. In fact, we may not even be typical. To understand how many solar systems exist, we need to grasp just how vast our galaxy really is. The Milky Way is about 100,000 light years wide. That means if you could travel at the speed of light, 300,000 kilometers per second, it would still take you 100,000 years to cross it. It contains between 100 and 400 billion stars. That's billion with a B. And modern telescopes have shown us that most of those stars have at least one planet orbiting them. Some have two, some have five, some have more. So how do we go from a few thousand to billions? It's thanks to missions like Kepler, tests, and ground-based observatories. These telescopes look for tiny dips in a star's brightness, the transit method. That dip usually means a planet has passed in front of the star. As of now, we've discovered over 5,600 confirmed exoplanets and thousands more candidates. But here's the trick. We're only looking at a tiny portion of the sky and only at the stars close enough and aligned perfectly for us to see that dip. So, scientists extrapolate. Based on the sample size, they estimate that over 90% of stars in the Milky Way have planets. That means there are likely over 300 billion solar systems in our galaxy alone. You might think, that's a lot of Earths. Not quite, because while planetary systems are common, our type of system isn't. Our solar system is relatively orderly. Rocky planets inside, gas giants outside, stable orbits, and a single star. But we found systems with 5 million golden stied, Super Earth's planets, two to 10 times Earth's mass, five million stars, two stars with planets orbiting around them, like some science fiction fantasy. One daily interiors planets, worlds without a star at all, drifting alone in the dark. In a sense, our solar system might be weird, not the norm. Most of our discoveries come from two techniques. 5-1 method, watching for dimming stars as planets pass in front to him. Seven five-year Mexicans Ds, measuring how stars wobble due to the gravitational pull of orbiting planets. Future missions will go even further. Telescopes like James Webb and Plato will allow us to study atmospheres, temperatures, and maybe even signs of life. We're entering an era not just of discovery, but of understanding. Here's the real question. If there are hundreds of billions of star systems and trillions of planets, why haven't we heard from anyone? This is the Fermi paradox, one of the great mysteries of science. Are intelligent civilizations just rare? Are they too far away? Or do they burn out before they can speak? Maybe we're early, maybe we're the first, or maybe everyone else is watching. So, how many solar systems are in the Milky Way? Hundreds of billions, more than you could ever count in a lifetime. And each one is a story. Some are quiet, some are violent, some may have life, some may have civilizations looking up at their skies, wondering the same thing we are. We used to think our solar system was unique, but now we know the truth. We're just one leaf in a forest, a forest that stretches across the galaxy. And maybe, just maybe, we're not alone.